Okay, so so this is a big thing for my mindset recently. Recently, uh, we had some like a disappointing uh, period of time, and uh, I was focused on the results. And I said, we need to make a certain amount of money over a certain period of time. And then after some part of that time passed and we didn't make it, I was uh, disappointed. And what I realized is that when you focus on the process and not the results, the results happen. So it's hard when you're starting to back these things in, right? But if you want to use our numbers, you can. For us, it takes about 20 leads uh, to get a deal. 20 leads and a, somewhere between three to five appointments to get a deal. That's where we're at. You might be able to improve on that. But um, when I started backing in the numbers that we wanted based on that and focusing only on the process, get these leads, get the appointments, make the offers. When I did that, the results came. So you can't really control the results. You can't make sellers say yes to you. You can't make buyers pay your price. You can't do that. But what you can do is you can control getting leads, right? It usually takes it's functional money and, and campaigns. Um, and then a certain percentage of those need to be qualified and turned into appointments. And then you got to make the offers. And those are the things you can control. You can control the activities. If you focus on the activities, you'll get results. If you focus on results, you usually end up getting disappointment. That's the what, what I've been seeing. And uh, I think it's important for every one of us to know what we can control and what we can't control, right? We can't really create the results. We can only create the activities we do to get those results. And the numbers I gave you before could be different for you. You might have a much better conversion rate. You might uh, have better leads than me. Whatever it is, it'll take you some time to fi figure what those numbers are. But you start with my numbers. Get 20. It takes 20 leads. And a lead, by my definition of a lead, is different than other people's definition of a lead. But my definition of a lead is somebody who has a, has a property and wants to sell it. Um, it takes 20 of the, about 20 for us to get a deal. So it's important that you focus on the process and on the activities you can control and not on the results. That is a much better prescription for happiness and for results. You'll actually get the results better. If you just put up a sign um, in front of your computer that says, I'm going to make a million dollars this year, it's uh, three months into it when you have made zero or six months into it when you made zero, it's uh, subconsciously that sign serves as a, as a source of disappointment to you. But if you write that I need to get 100 leads this month and you got 90, you say, okay, I got to push harder next month, but at least you're getting the leads. If you write that I need to make uh, 10 offers this month, uh, those are some things you can control. Uh, so once your pipeline starts, you can control, you can push, turn the spigot on for more leads by spending more money usually and uh, making sure you're qualifying those people and making them offers. Those are the things you can control and those do lead to the ultimate results.